I tell y'all this every single vlog. You better live your life. You better live your life. Welcome to our Egypt vlog, and this is how we started it. We landed, y'all. We are outside. We finally touched down, and with our driver, we've been traveling for two days. Okay. Two days. Okay. I feel like we giving main characters in Egypt, and we just touched down. Oh. So far, the people are nice. Yeah. Nicer than Paris. Let me tell you. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna yeah. go into detail with you right now, but people in Paris, they yeah. wanted to nook, okay? Or a book. They wanted a the book. book. They wanted a book. Y'all, our bags are so heavy. <laughs> I'm trying to put our bags in the car. He's in the back, struggling. My bag was overweight, but thankfully, the guy who checked us in at um, the Atlanta airport gave us a pass. Okay, so we gotta be my, front, front y'all. Jesus. My Mind y'all, Tasha didn't tell y'all her bag was overweight 15 pounds. <laughs> pounds. <laughs> She's gonna have to get a carry on going back. <laughs> didn't tell y'all that one. What is wrong with me and why would I pack this much stuff? Y'all, her bag was like 82. I'm pounds. so sorry. Look, you gave me that look. This is actually Maya's bag. No, it's not. I don't even like pink. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what the problem is? Everybody's saying dress modest, wear this, don't wear that. I just didn't know what to pack y'all, so yeah. I just brought it all. As you should. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm starving. I feel so bad. Y'all, the planes, the food on these planes is so nasty. They need to I hire me as a eat, chef. I didn't even eat nothing on Air France. From Paris coming yeah. here, I didn't even eat nothing on Air France was better. Delta's food? Trust. Trust. They will be here in my mouth. <laughs> It was so bad. They served us this pasta, y'all. Pasta. Pasta. That tastes like mashed potatoes. <laughs> Jesus. Talk Are we able to go? I see y'all later. <laughs> we gotta go. My camera about to die anyway. Jesus. We finally made it. Oh my god, I genuinely feel so bad for him. He's gonna get a good tip oh. out of me. He deserved a hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, you know. I can't drive. Huh? You can drive? You want me to drive? Yes. I got you. <laughs> I just looked at my wrist, I got time today. Fuck it, I'm crossing the line today. The hate be so real, the love be fake. Be bumping they thumbs and bumping my tape. Don't go against me, they ask for my help. Go get out your feelings and get it yourself. My got the same shoes, but you ain't gonna step. That shit that you just put out, you could've killed. Yo, she got a nigga, he got a shirt. Why? You can't compete when you can't compare him. Got up and got herself out of there. I see they put me on memes and things. Don't speak on my life without knowing the real. They figures a year where they cost me to live. Don't hold it, just say what you feel, but watch your mouth. Hey y'all, so we just made it to our hotel. Let's do a quick room tour. We're basically here for a couple of hours. We're leaving in the morning to go to another part of Egypt. We just got one room for the night and we might come to this room next week. Yes. Okay, y'all, I'm about to change so we can go on the rooftop and eat and catch a vibe. Yes, yes. It is pretty late, so we need to get on. It's with, 2 a.m. here. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. So we're still on Atlanta time, so we're not sleepy, but we still gotta get up in a couple of hours and get our day started. 
because we're doing a full excursion today. But welcome to Egypt. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Black girls in Egypt, what's up? What's up? Actually, this is how I look in the vlog 90% of the time, girl. I mean, you are not the same. <laughs> they do not care. <laughs> what did you get us, Ashley? She got us some gifts, y'all. I have this gifts. Is, this is yeah, Taj's. <gasps> this mm. is crazy. Is this a long dress? We all have them. Oh, yeah. I love We're about this. To match That's more like a pink, though. You said lavender. It's mauve. I love that. Yes, I don't know why it's right is now. that a small? Because you know the waist is they tiny. Small. Oh. It's an interesting is, sound there. What is that? A car. <laughs> y'all hear that Ooh. sound? Did y'all hear that? That sound like that gunshots. So oh my <laughs> god! This. <laughs> no, this color on you Thank is going you. to. Yeah. Oh, then you have the white scarf. Period. And then this one's mine. Ooh. Ooh, they on your skin tone. It's about to be. And they all here's Amber. She bought this from. Two. Oh, she bought this from Fire. And then um, That's Angel has like a dark pink one. That oh, that is pretty is on fire. her. We bought this. So this crazy story. We went to this place. That's when we got catcalled. These were only seven, seven USD. Getting ready to head out. We literally had no sleep. Did not sleep at all. At all. We just ate. Came back to the room and started getting ready. Got to make up them. Oh my goodness, I look so different. I've never worn anything like this before. I look like somebody's Egyptian African. mama. African on TV. African, African on TV is what it's giving. Are you in Africa? Egyptian princess out. You guys, <laughs> the girls are reunited. Okay, well, first of all, I have to introduce yeah. y'all to everybody. Hey, girl, hey. She is slaying the edges right now. And then let me introduce y'all. Okay, this is, do you mind being in a vlog? Of course. Okay, this is Amber. Hey, girl, hey. Ashley, look. some time talk to you guys we are reporting live welcome to this new vlog everybody welcome to my egypt vlog official girls trip um this was literally planned last minute my friend ashley was meeting a friend here and she invited me and maya you know she extended the invite so we had to hop on a flight and come explore egypt i'm really that girl i'm that friend that will book a flight two days in advance just for the vibes so never thought in a million years i would be in egypt in 2024 but here we are i'm thanking the men above and we're here for an amazing experience day one for me here um we are visiting alexandria today which is the second largest city in egypt and we have a couple of things that we're doing here today 
I'll give you guys a little bit more details as we go. But I'm just so excited. I'm happy to be with my girls. We made a quick pit stop to the restroom. So I'm about to go ahead and go in there. Literally everybody's staring at me with this camera really, but the job will be done. Okay, so let me run in here and I'll see you guys in a bit. My dress is so long, I keep having to pick it up. At least I got some comfy sandals. Oh my god, okay. Uh, interesting. Oh. Be careful, y'all. Oh my gosh. One of these steps are loose. Step careful. Really going underground. Literally. I need to get up out of here. <laughs> After we party, any one of our relatives will have to gather together to eat. Aww. So we eat in our home nowadays, but at the time you have to eat beside your relative. Which is, you will see. This is actually where they discovered the bones inside here. So in the beginning they feel like, okay, this one is for humans. But later on, you will see the bones here. Bones? Did he just say bones, honey? Shangod, she is the lady with the two wings, and she is the uh, mother of Hope. The birds are getting it in, y'all. Oh, birds. Oh, I'm out of breath from this. And that good? So We're trying Egyptian snacks. Guys, they have a, what is this called, y'all? It's a. Uh, Let me see the bag. Show them the bag. No, I'll get a half. Can you tell? It tastes like nope, Nutella. Right. It's really good. Yeah, chocolate and cheese. Yeah, it's good. It's fresh. Cheese, right? It tastes like it's like grocery aisle. Mm -hmm. Y'all, it's hard to say everything tastes fresh. We just pulled up to the next location. We are at the Citadel, which is another monument here. Here it is. Hey, uh, we are at the Citadel. Y'all look like some models. All right, y'all, we came here to grab some lunch. We're going to Branzino. Branzino? These onion rings? Yeah, they're You scared of fish? And some rice. Oh, the fish is good. The fish is really good. So we made a quick pit stop at this Egyptian store, y'all, just to get some outfits. More dresses like what we're wearing. This is what they got my dress, y'all. This is a pretty one. Oh, this is the one Maya got. But it don't, they had to tie it up. Simple, she's cute. You don't gotta do too much. All white. It's a small. How long is this? Y'all, we are so tired, okay? Everybody was sleeping on the way back here because it was like a three hour ride from the place we went to today. This is my outfit, y'all. Hey. hey. Egyptian mommy. I'm literally so tired, y'all. How much is this? This one's all in my pony Yeah, I, that's the only part I don't like in the bag. You're quick. When you come to these stores, you gotta negotiate, okay? So, I got me a carry-on because my bag was overweight coming up here, you guys know, so I'm gonna need a carry-on going back home. And then, we are heading out literally tonight to go to another part of Egypt that's like 10 hours away, a 10 hour drive, so I'm gonna need a carry-on to pack my necessities. I was negotiating, okay? 
30. I'm from Haiti. We was raised around that stuff. So the bag was 50 and I got it for 30. And I also got two more dresses. I got a white one and I got like a neutral one and a headscarf. The girls are doing their negotiations as we speak and getting work done. Okay. You better negotiate. Hey, you all hey. Hey, y'all, hey. Your favorite African auntie is back. Okay. Reporting live from Egypt with her little sister, Maya. Hello, sister Nastasia. Come on, we yeah. Okay, y'all, so. Sac -a 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 okay. Okay, so yeah, we're going to this part of Egypt called Siwa. It's eight hour, it's a 10 hour drive from here. And apparently it's just this beautiful desert where yeah. we're gonna be doing like sightseeing ATVs, ATVs camel, riding. camel riding desert seeing like desert scenery and just a little bit of everything the good thing is though we're staying there for one night two days yeah. so we can really like make it worthwhile the trip like it's a 10 hour drive I'm gonna put some comfy loungewear to hop on in this car take my makeup off pop a Tylenol PM and go to sleep on the way there tonight hey I'm doing that in the desert. 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 If y'all see it, I told y'all first, I'm doing that in the desert. And I don't care who that's going to be. She'd be so confident too in them dances, y'all. Remember in, in St. Lucia? Yes! Alright, y'all. Bye for now. Cairo, Egypt. We are heading to Siwa. We are heading to Siwa, Egypt today, which is 10 hours away from Cairo. And we'll be back here probably... Monday or Tuesday, but we packed up our whole room. We was just here for pretty much one day. And we're about to take a long car ride to a whole other side of Egypt, y'all. God guide us. God is with us, okay? It's gonna be so fun. This area is called Siwa. That's where they do the ATV. That's where they have the desert, the beach, like dope, dope vibe. The best part of this vlog will probably be there. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And then we'll be back here in a little bit. I'll be taking this bag, my tote, my carry-on, and we're leaving our big bags and a locker room downstairs. And we don't have to take them back until like we come back to finish our trip. This is the vibe for the next day, baby. We are at Planta Lodge Hotel, located in Siwa, Egypt. And this place is about eight hours from Cairo, where the airport was, so let's go check it out. Little birdies. Ooh, y'all, look at this pool. Oh, this
It's just like a sitting area. Oh, that's different, y'all. Just got up the stairs. Let's do a quick room tour, y'all. This room is small, girl. I wouldn't want to share it with nobody else. Period. Period. Okay. As you walk in, we got the exquisite two-bedroom. This is the only mirror we got here, but listen, I brought my ring lights and extra mirrors. We're only here for a night, and we're not here to stay in the room. So as long as we got somewhere to lay and a bathroom to use, nothing crazy. Stand-up shower. I'm going to say this. When you're traveling, you have to be flexible and open to trying new things okay you're not always gonna get i'm gonna crimp my hair so we gotta be ready by 1 30 and i'm gonna go ahead and put some crimps in my hair y'all i'm so excited this is where the content is going to be. This is where we're doing the ATV. This is where we are going to go to the Salt Lake Siwa. Like, this place is really dope. I know it's far, but this is really where the bulk of this content is going to be like the fire content. Yeah. So, get yes, ready. Once again, I say what I said. I'm not saying. They do not play over here with their prayer time, okay? Four, 4.30 in the morning, sounds like this. 12.30, sounds like this. 5.30, I think, or 6.30. But y'all, my cousins are really Muslim, and I used to hear this when I was a kid, so. She's so used to this. I'm not already. Muslim, but I definitely am not new to this. We're heading out. The girls are outside. All right, y'all. Let me be careful with these stairs, honey. We are going on our desert excursion. Did I put deodorant on, child? Please tell me I put deodorant on. Oh, thank you. Are you okay? Hi, guys. Okay, so we're heading to lunch, you guys. I'm literally starving. I ain't been eating in Egypt. Egypt got me starving. So we gotta go eat some lunch. And then we're doing our ATV right after. Our Michael, desert. Michael, do you know how to tie these the right so way? See y'all in a bit. Do you know how to... Oh, this is cute. This is really cute, y'all. We stopped by here for lunch. Sausage now. Did it go sausage? I don't even know where my phone is going. But I still know how to do it. Yeah, do mine too. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Wait, y'all gotta do it in my bag. Okay. Okay, that's a pocket mini. It's a tiny vlogging camera. And it's like real discreet. This like, is so good. good. It's a gimbal, so all your but look about how much they gave us, y'all. It stopped right here. Yeah. I need about two of these. But this is really good. You didn't go on a trip. It's like how much is it? Uh, Fourteen. You know, I'm straight up. Okay. Hi. Hi. What sausage is this? Oh, you got a salad. It's gonna taste like I don't like the sausage at all. But the cheese is good. I just like sausage. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, you gotta get in the middle. So I'm gonna get it. I ain't gonna go through the middle. Let girl. We met in Egypt. This is crazy. Huh? We met in Egypt. Meeting in Egypt. How did y'all meet in Egypt? In Egypt? We're not regular people. These girls randomly, I was going, I was already in Egypt, y'all, and I told, yes. my, I told Ashley to come. Yes. Randomly, Ashley's like, my two other friends want to come. They booked flights literally, like, two days ago. Literally, okay. We had, to, we had to pull up. I love that. I love that, too, because you don't meet people that's so spontaneous uh -huh. like that, you know? And I be all over the world, so I be needing. She's a real traveler right here, y'all. 
Yeah, she's a yeah, solo yeah. traveler. Y'all, this one of the cars that be going fast in a safari. Okay, so we're gonna be in a safari going crazy, going a hundred on the sand. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. What's okay, so we are about working, to go to working, the desert, the right, right, Sahara right. Desert. Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. Let a nigga know that he alive. We are in Egypt! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in the intro. Let's go in the intro. Papa, let's go in the intro. ABB! Welcome to Egypt! I've never seen nothing like this in my life. Ever. Yeah, I'm just in disbelief. It's so beautiful. This is better than. Anything I ever did. Just cra it's crazy that God's grace that God created. You know we gotta give him that glory. Oh, God's God grace. God's glory. glory. Okay. Oh, Big Jesus. Big yeah. Jesus. Shout out to him. him. Shout out to him. Yeah. That's crazy. We're going all the way up there and then the car is literally going to the top of the bit lunch now. Okay. just had the most amazing experience literally doing a hula hoop doing a hula hoop all around the desert now we're about to go sandboarding okay i've never done neither one i'm just grateful to be here and experiencing this i'm just happy to be here so thank god <laughs> you know i gotta have my little moment with my people because we'll be so busy i ain't got time to talk to y'all and then you guys don't know what's going on not for real let me talk but this was a come to egypt man don't come by yourself but come to Egypt. Come with your friends. Come with your people. We're about to go sandboard. Um, he said we got to take our shoes off. So, right. Sandboarding 101. Look how smooth Angel's board is. Like, yeah. Woo! Go Angel! Okay! Ah, Vivi! Ah, oh, that's cute. All right. Yo! You look sick, girl. <laughs> that one fast. <laughs> Maya pro. Now that's a mess. That's a hot mess. Why is it stuck? <laughs> All the sand on it. <laughs> that white one is that's lit. Like. Go, on, yeah. go ahead, actually. It's, it's nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you have to go again. You have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do it? Did you? Yes. Yeah, I yeah, squashed down a little bit. And then you got no more. This camera quality is on me. Yeah. You got no more new one. Go, girl. <laughs> she, like, yeah, she said, she said, let me show y'all how it's done. <laughs> you <laughs> you said, let me show y'all. She said, let me show y'all how it's done. She said, let me show y'all how it's done. Said, done. Said, how it's done. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. See how fast it's going? There you go. <laughs> All the sand on it. <laughs> 
This is harder than it looks. All right, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this invitation to Egypt. This is more than breathtaking. This is more than amazing. We're building friendships, we're building experiences, and we're just blessing you in the midst of all this. So I just want to say thank you and continue to keep on blessing us. Thank you, Lord, for networking opportunities. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be able to get up and travel whenever, Lord. We know that this is a blessing, and there's so many people that don't live the lives that we live. So we take today to thank you, Jesus, for allowing us to live the lives that we live, do the things that we do, work and be able to cherish life no matter where we are in the name of jesus and just thank you god even now for the friends that you have given me friends that will buy tickets and just come across the country <laughs> thank you and we just give you gratitude for even being able to have the means to be able to do it we thank you for keeping us safe we thank you for these new moments and for creating sisterhood and friendship all around the world Lastly, I'd like to thank you for allowing us to have a relationship with you so that we'll have the good enough spirits to come on a trip together and have an actual good time, be supportive sisters to each other, and continue to build bonds and memories. You're the one who brought this group together, and I'm so grateful that you introduced these girls to my life. I cannot wait to continue to make more memories. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, Father God, for uplifting us even when we are in our down moments. You have never given up on us, Father God. Thank you for protecting us and keeping us. Thank you for friendship. Thank you for sisterhood, Father God. And I know that you will continue to open many, many doors. We love you and we ask for you to surround us with your angels and protect us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah, that was so nice. Yeah, yeah. I literally got you. I feel like these moments really remind me that your today, it does not mean that your tomorrow will be the yeah. same. Mm -hmm. Like I think about moments where I was down and out yes. and I thought that was it for me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in Egypt with an amazing group of Five. girls yeah. like yeah. watching this yeah. sunset. Yeah. The beginning of year, it's, still, it's still so early in the year. Yeah. 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 Imagine what God is going to do before this year ends. Within our friendship, but us being able to inspire other people and Amen. bring them closer to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the ability and to book a trip. And a yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Before the trip. To, to go to Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. Black, beautiful women. To see the world. That's yeah. Amazing. That's crazy. I don't take it for granted. I'm just grateful. For real. We're trailblazers. Literally. Ooh. Thank you, Trailblazers. Y'all, they got Sit far away, please. Far away. Can you keep the light on so we can put it in the bar? Okay, y'all, so we are having dinner and we came to a camping party out here in Siwa, and it's beautiful. This is the walkway. Oh, this this is rice, chicken, potatoes, salad. Oh, and we have non bread. Yeah, non bread. That looks really good. I'm trying to figure out what this is, y'all. What's that? Is that hummus? Try that. Should I try this? Mm-hmm. that's what we're talking about. That's how it is, but I don't know if it has anything in it. It should be not like. I need some sauce to put on my nose. You should probably ask them what it's made out of. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know what it's made out of. I'm not eating nothing without asking. The rice is so Fun fact, the rice is good. Is and Joe is allergic. Yeah. So we gotta watch out for our girl. That, is that beans? That's a soup. That's a soup. That's a soup. This is good. What is in it? It's green soup. I don't know. What if it's good? Soup is great. Let's see all them doing it. A little bit. Let's try a little bit. Oh, this is soup? Yeah, this is really good. Bread. I love me some non bread. It's good. I don't know what's in it. What does it give? Now that with the rice. Did you eat some of that with the rice? Put that in. Put that in. Try it. Get a spoonful. It's me all picked. Right. I'm like, hold on. Get a spoonful of rice and a spoonful of potato with that sauce. Girl. Let's see. Trust. She is not lying. 
reporting live from the room we are back in the hotel um after such a long beautiful eventful day y'all like this was probably my favorite day in egypt so far i mean we've only been here for two days but today was nothing short of amazing and adventurous we're back in the room i am hungry again the food here is good but it's just really light in my opinion so you're eating like rice grilled chicken naan bread it's very healthy so like i feel like i could eat more because right now it's two o'clock in the morning my sleeping pattern is all the way messed up and i'm hungry i could eat a whole burger right now and fries but we're about to go to sleep the other thing is there is no ac in this room like i'm not really complaining because we're in this place for one day we came all the way out here to for an excursion so this hotel stay comes with the excursion um so we're literally leaving tomorrow we're here for one night because our other hotel is a lot more accommodating but babe i just had to kill a bug for my ass she was like i'm not sleeping if you don't kill this bug i said girl the probability of three more bugs being in this room is 99.9 percent but I just had to kill a bug for her. So how's everything been so far for you, Maya Bear? Talk to the people. I am about to mentally prepare myself to get in the shower because it's brick cold and it is brick cold in this room. But besides that, we are very grateful to be in Egypt. Period. Listen, being born and raised in Haiti, a lot of the stuff I'm used to, cold showers, no AC, no heat, bugs. Like I really was raised in the Caribbean, so I'm used to a lot of this stuff, but we had to make a way. Like I used to boil, we used to boil our water and mix it with cold water in a bucket to shower. Literally, I grew up like that. For me, that was luxury because I could boil my water. Like what you talking about? Fun fact about me, I was born and raised in Haiti. So I'm very accommodating to stuff like that. But there are some things that are a little extreme. Like this water is so cold that girl, you could get sick if you shower in it. But yes, y'all, we are about to go to sleep. I just wanted to give y'all a quick update. On the day and how everything went and i'll pick you guys back up tomorrow good night hi y'all good morning so or just thank you that's it thank god that's breakfast y'all oh are you up are you up the baby's really good to me here that looks so different, bro. Oh, wow. This literally looks like him. Yes. Oh, wow. Michael. Michael, what's this area called? Yeah. yeah. Salt Lake. Oh. We're hanging out at Salt Lake today, you guys, and this is the view. Dude, it's so pretty. That's beautiful. I got it. You know I dealt with you the nicest. Nobody touched me in a rush. Nobody touched me in a crisis. I believe that all of your dreams are duration. You took my heart, all my keys, and my passion. You took my heart, all my sleep, and decoration. You mistaken my love, I brought for you for foundation. All that I want. Talk to y'all the whole time. I feel like none of us hey, have been tuned in this vlog. This no. is gonna be my most hectic travel vlog <laughs> ever. This it's really because, vlog. Well, here's tea. Wait, you might as well Egypt. talk about it at the same time. So now I got the energy. <laughs> Let me get it. <laughs> this is gonna be a very choppy vlog. It's like very you either choppy. get it or you don't. But I'm gonna try to put stuff on yeah, the screen. Here. Egypt is very different. I think it's been this is gonna be a choppy vlog because we barely slept. We are seven <laughs> hours ahead of a, a US. US. Yeah. Seven hours ahead of Atlanta time. That's yeah. the first thing. Number two, we have done a 10-hour drive. We about to do another one. 
21 hour flights on top of 21 hour flights we've been an excursion 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 desert yeah. desert desert mother salt nature lake hitting us mother in the nature face. hitting us we falling asleep Flies. and not waking up Flies. everywhere we was just in a backyard alley taking a shower <laughs> it was an alley y'all it was an alley but i would say if you come to egypt just be ready to try something very different, different yeah the culture yeah. is completely different you see we have our like our modest clothes on we had a little bathing suit on earlier but that we was by ourselves okay and this is the thing you're gonna go on trips that are luxurious that are 10 mm -hmm. out of 10 like you know everything is done for and you're gonna go on trips where you're gonna have to be yeah. adventurous and be yes. outside and we're I'm in africa of experience. I'm i like it both. we're literally we're literally yeah. in africa like yeah. yes egypt but africa and this continent is so different i think the trip in itself is 10 out of 10 it's just really different See, there's a fly trying to fight me right all now. The trips y'all gonna be, the trips I be planning, it's all, it's all adventurous. Yes, <laughs> and I love that. Like Amber that. is, Amber is. Yeah, I'm not a relaxed. I, I like to relax, but I just tend to not plan relaxed trips. I don't yeah. know why. And you go no, with the flow either, too. Right? I go, yeah. Actually, I don't flow. think I've ever had, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't do relaxed trips. I'm very go with the flow, but at what the same time, all my general. trips are I'll full of adventure all the time. I, I, I used to be a resort girl like nope. that's resort. how I started I know now I'm doing more but I was like a resort 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 my first trip was oh. in Guatemala and I was climbing mountains wow that's oh. awesome where to next y'all we're heading to Cleo Cleo I cannot say that Cleopatra we're going to we're in Cleopatra oh we are in Cleopatra we're, we're heading to sunset dinner Ooh, sunset dinner and we're all wearing white we look like Egyptian goddess that girl Tuesday I like to wear this looks like we're out of this world. Yeah. Yeah. We're going inside. This oh, like it's kind of deep anyway. Like, I'll give you go inside. But not like yesterday. Uh -huh. It's amazing. If you want to see it. Sure. Can... We have the whole area to ourselves. <laughs> Let's do a tour. Wow. This is beautiful. Hello. Hello. Hi. Wow. Oh, right here is nice. Wow. This is gorgeous, guys. Oh, I love it. I love it. Beautiful property. Well, thank you so much to you guys. We appreciate it. Y'all, this is a dream. Siwa Oasis. Okay, that's where we are at in the middle of the desert in Egypt. Like breath taking we're about to have dinner um a sunset dinner one thing about these girls they're going to get the shots it do not matter where we go they're gonna get the content see look at them they're gonna get the content by all means this, this is really like necessary <laughs> that's what determines the success of this trip <laughs> and i'm all down for it because i get it picture time I got a feeling this ain't gonna be it for me, though. I don't Alright y'all, we are having dinner in this beautiful tent and they are bringing us delicious, delicious food. I feel so grateful to be here. Let's walk in and check it out. That makes it more authentic. What's that? Your phone charging? I don't have a charger. Is it the pasta? It's charging. Where's the pasta? Oh and my look at the meat. god, it looks beautiful. I've been waiting to eat pasta. For real. I feel like it's real. I'm, I'm about to eat for real tonight. Anybody else? It is on the end. Let's start. I'm over to take a shot. Yes, sir. Oh, it's. Yeah, there's meat in it. But that this is what it's like. Tomato paste. So what kind of meat is this? Ula, ula, that looks like oxtail. Oxtail. Is that oxtail? It's lamb. Lamb. Yummy. Oh, it's lamb. Lamb is my favorite. Alright. And that's good. What's that? Dessert? Oh, this is just a table. That's like a hummus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's so delicious. <laughs> no, it's actually really good. Wow. That's why I love the best thing we've had here. Yeah. And the bread also is amazing. Yes, please taste. Never forget cat ears now. Every time I touch a non-bread. Yeah, I have to cat ears. I feel like I'm touching cat ears. 
so good. Let me get some of that too. This is wow, so good. Thank you, God. Mm -mm -mm. The potato and mute. Yeah, this reminds me of pot roast. Have you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You know pot roast. Yeah, okay. I've made one before. I made one with ribeye. Mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. I've never had that. Mm -hmm. This literally mm -hmm. tastes just like pot potatoes roast. Potatoes in there. Mm -hmm. Hey you guys, good morning. Good morning, good afternoon. I don't even know what time, what day is at this point. I'm still trying to adjust to the time here, but my body is still in Atlanta time. So really haven't been sleeping that much here. But hey, we're on vacation, what's up? But it is a new day. Quick recap, we made it back from Siwa last night. So if you guys remember, we had that 10 hour drive. We went to Siwa to experience the Siwa Oasis. So we got back last night at like two o'clock in the morning. We checked back in the hotel that we were originally in. We spent one night there. And then we decided to switch locations today, which is something I recommend doing when you're traveling period, especially if you're there for over three days. Switch locations, refresh the vibe. Yeah, it does something different to your trip. It honestly feels like we're in a brand new trip right now. Like that's just what I like about it. So we are staying at a new hotel. Definitely feels a lot more upscale, a lot safer as well because it has a gated community here. It feels like a resort vibe. You get concierge check-ins, people escort you in your room. Room looks nicer. We have a nice balcony view. Yeah, this definitely gives like resort compared to where we were staying at was like more of a boutique hotel. We've got all of our bags, girl. We brought so many bags onto this trip and girl, this bag right here, trust. She's never going anywhere else with me. It's just so big and obnoxious. It doesn't fit anywhere. This bag has been a problem. We basically had to cancel our first Uber because when they pulled up, they said, no, this not gonna fit in my car. So we had to get another Uber and anyways, we made it. Let's go outside and catch this view. Yeah, these are the vibes. Vibes for the day, vibes for the day, vibes for the day. So today we're supposed to go experience the pyramid. We were gonna do the camel ride, the pyramid and sightseeing around the pyramid but y'all we are so tired i literally slept for four hours last night we decided that we're gonna take this day as a rest day and explore the property do things here chill i'm gonna do some work i'm gonna edit a vlog get dressed up and do dinner tonight tomorrow is our last day so tomorrow we're gonna be doing a pyramid and everything else okay a quick reset we need it we haven't been sleeping i've just been surviving on turkish coffee one thing i've been really enjoying here in egypt their coffee the food is okay it's it's pretty much the same thing the food is okay the best meal i've had here was when we ate yesterday last night i am in egypt i'm learning so much about the culture it's very very interesting there's a lot of behind the scenes that you guys don't I didn't catch on camera but I'm learning a lot about their culture and their religion if you guys did not know Egypt is 90% Muslim and about 10% Christians here um, a lot of interesting aspects let me just say that I am learning and it's just very interesting to learn a, a lot about their culture like when we went to the Oasis last night we were being served tea hot tea for example like that was before our dinner the guy who comes and he pours the tea and the cups for everyone and it was it was four of us girls and two guys and he handed the guys their cup of tea first then he poured our cups for us and just walked away and just left them there like he didn't hand it to us and so our tour guide was telling us sorry i got interrupted because i tipped the bellman and he i didn't have change so he went and got change for me while we were being served the tea he like pours the tea 
and then he walks away so the our tour guide he was telling us basically they see women differently um oh it's men first not women's first it's men first so of course they hand the men the tea and women just need to they really will not hand you no tea like they're that's not something that they're gonna do um they see it as a sign of disrespect in a way or a sign of less than if they were to hand you something they, I don't know if that's all of them now. I'm not here to say, oh, that's how all of them are. But I'm just saying, with that area where we were at, that's basically their belief from what the tour guide was telling us. He was like, when they're having dinner, the men eat first, and then the women will eat what's left. Um, in a lot of the areas, when we're walking around, we don't see women out because in some areas, they're not allowed to come out. They are for their husband's enjoyment in the house i'm telling you i'm being very respectful of everything okay um and yeah so it's just very very interesting you know it's very interesting and some of the women cover up from head to toe and don't even show their their eyes um so i had never understood or experienced that before and why so being here i'm learning a lot i'm learning a lot a lot a lot i watched a lot of videos before i came here of people basically saying that they didn't feel safe when they came to egypt they didn't feel safe and that they were um stared at a lot or they were being followed cat called they were getting scammed like there was a lot of videos that had me like oh my gosh should i go I haven't experienced anything crazy and I'm telling you this is how good God is like he really aligned us with the best tour guide we could have had because the tour guide was telling us how when we go around and buy stuff they were trying to charge us more than they could have if it wasn't up to him to say no why are you charging them this much and their language so behind the scene he was really vouching for us in other in another language and we had no idea so this tour, this tour guy was the best he's so trustworthy he has a tour company he usually works with large groups of people that travel like he said he usually works with 40 50 people he doesn't usually take small groups because especially when he has to go to another side and do a three-day trip two-day trip it doesn't really benefit him to do that he was great i feel like if you're coming to egypt number one do not come by yourself i would highly highly recommend not to come by yourself i wouldn't even do it two people well maybe two of course if you come with a guy I think you'll be good also make sure you have a tour guide for most of your trip unless you're coming to stay at like a resort a hotel like this but even so book a tour guide for your excursion day somebody that knows the city that knows the language somebody you can trust dress modest okay baby I brought all my Zara church clothes but also I was buying a lot of their uh, long dresses here too dress modest this is not the place or the time to show your two-piece set and yeah understand the culture and you know you're gonna have to respect it because this is their place their country but understand it yeah one more day in egypt we're gonna make the best out of it i'm glad we are in a different space there's better wi-fi here so i'll get some work done today and relax so take a minute for us to chat because i feel like this is not going to be that type of vlog that's very like detailed and this is different from my other travel vlogs this is a little choppy i feel like this is going to be a little choppy so i just wanted to take a minute and I'm um, really checking with y'all. But alright, I'm about to go back inside. Check on Maya. <laughs> now that's a mess. Alright, dinner at Le Pistou. That sounds like a French restaurant. Let's go. Thank you. Yes. How's calamari? Calamari? Yeah, is it good? It's good. It's fried. It's fried. It's fried. With salad, tomato, cucumber, and French fries. Oh, it comes with French fries. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's do the calamari for appetizer. Calamari? Yes. Topic? It's okay. It's paper. No, we're still out. Oh, me. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Okay, Cheers. Now let's do iPhone. Cheers, bye. It's a really good one. It is a vibe over here, y'all. So we're done with dinner. We are about to go get dressed. Get dressed. Get, get dressed. What y'all wearing tonight? I can't be any. I don't know what I'm wearing. I'm about to take I don't know either. I want to do a dress in a few. Y'all see it on the green, I guess. Because I don't know. You don't know the slide over here?
heading to dinner. We got dressed, did hair, did makeup, did a little bit of everything. Then ding. Then ding. We got on TikTok Live. And we're just ready to look cute and go out. You know, I mean, not out, but just hang out on a resort, take some nice pictures. We haven't had a chance to do that. So that's what we're up to right now. That's what we're up to. We might post tonight because of the time difference in the States. Basta kum gambari food. And what is it why? One minute road. No, no, it's a bit. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Egypt. Y'all know I'm not usually ready to go home, baby, but I'm ready to go home. We just left out of breakfast and we are heading to our room to get ready for the day. This is our last day in Egypt. We literally leave out tonight. So on the agenda today, we're going to uh, visit the pyramids. Okay. Now that's a big thing here in Egypt. If you come here, the pyramid, the camel, uh, that's the thing, okay? And then after that, get our stuff together and leave out. I'm ready to go home though. Like I'm just ready to get back into work, routine, life, reality. But nonetheless, I've enjoyed it. You know? All right, off to see the pyramids of Egypt. Vibe. I don't know, do they be kicking or spitting? No, it, that's the king that kicks. I think it's the camel that be spitting. No, they're trained, you know, yeah, now we take a break. Yes, yeah, they're it. trying to convince us to get on these camels. Like, no. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know if I want to get on these camels. But I'm going to do it. Other side? Yo, look at Maya! Hold tight and lean back. Look at me, Maya. Yes. One, two, three. Yes, girl. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Y'all, this is so nice. Wow. This is crazy. I'm an Asian girl. <laughs> That's crazy. Tell y'all this every single vlog. You better live your life. You better live your life. Hello, how are you feeling? Is you still alive? Right. 
This is the one he just made. Uh -huh. wow. Then it comes with a leather oh. stopper to wet it. Okay. With a perfume inside, then this is a stopper to wet it. Okay. A diffuser for home. Oh, that's cool. Where we put the essence in the top and I keep the candle down. Tea like candle. And they like, is it a strong or it gets around the house really yeah. good, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Or combinations of scents mm -hmm. to make different perfumes for men and women to wear. The second one? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's for body wearing and this is for home. This one is the medicine. Most of them only is for healing. And although it calls spice scent, but few of them has no scent. Mm. But has benefits by applying it on your body. Okay. Because so that's how. Is that that one? Yes. Lotus. Give me one of your fingers. Turn. <laughs> and wrap. Wrap before you smell because it's a change. Ooh, that smells good. Mm. And we're trying out the scents right now, you guys. We are at a perfume mm. uh, shop. Mm. Number one still has my heart. <laughs> right? <laughs> open, open your mouth? Yeah. And breathe in. Great. Mm. Feels different. You feel it everywhere, right? Rain, ears. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so good. A little strong. Yeah. Strong. Gently. And then open your mouth a little bit. So it's like this. Breathe in. Breathe out. This just opened up all my sinuses. That's you know what it kind of reminds me of? Um, uh, the vapor thing that you could put in your nose. Yeah, like the Vicks. rubs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the like Vicks. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's like Vicks. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I chose one that's like musky and sweet, oh, and then she good. gave you one that's like mine is a little masculine. Mm. That smells just like baccarat rouge. It's yeah, really baccarat. The base of the baccarat. I'm gonna have to do that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> baccarat is three hundred dollars in the states. Yeah, we make the raw materials of the perfumes, just the base without alcohol. This is crazy. <laughs> this smells like how baccarat should smell. Like it's like a yes, it's already the base of baccarat but without alcohol, so it's more concentrated. It's just on the a skin. better version of baccarat. Yeah, yeah. much longer to last on the skin, like yeah. 18 hours or more. Because it's and like you a dilute it with yeah. water or alcohol. I don't even want to dilute it. <laughs> no. To spray. Do you recommend? Oh, okay. You just add the 10 or 20 drops from the whole base you have. Okay. You just pick 10 drops or 20 maximum mm -hmm. in 100 ml of water or alcohol. So the I usually never longer. compare okay. scents, but that's. So like so, it. if we were to purchase, how would they come like in the big? Perfect timing. Can't say I won't ready on time. Can't say we didn't live life, Egypt. It's a wrap. Period. Thank you for everything. You posted? Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey, get out. Yes, y'all. We taking our bags out. We out of here. I've been waiting to go home. Wait, I'm gonna come back and get them. Good. Hey y'all. Hey girl, hey. We are ready to go. Huh? You ready to go? Yeah. I thought it was my job. Perfect time, they're out there too. I think we're cutting up. Alright guys, well, we're heading down.